It was then that the fox appeared. Good morning, said the fox. Good morning, the little prince replied politely, though when he turned around, he saw nothing. I'm here, said the voice, under the apple tree. Who are you? asked the little prince. You are very pretty. I'm a fox, said the fox. Come, come, come and play with me, suggested the little prince. I'm so terribly sad. I cannot play with you, said the fox. I am not tame. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, said the little prince. But after some thought, he asked, uh, What does tame mean? You do not live here, said the fox. What are you looking for? I'm looking for men, said the little prince. What does tame mean? Man, said the fox. Men have rifles and they hunt. It's a real nuisance. And um, they also raise chickens. Those are the only activities they are interested in. Are you looking for chickens? No, said the little prince. I'm, I'm looking for friends. But what does tame mean? It's something which is too often forgotten, said the fox. It means... It means, it means to establish ties. Mm. To establish ties. That's right, said the fox. To me, you are still just a little boy. Like a hundred thousand other little boys. And I have no need of you. And you have no need of me either. <laughs> to you, I'm just a fox, like a hundred thousand other foxes. But if you tame me, we shall need one another. To me, you will be unique. And I shall be unique to you. Mm. I'm beginning to understand, said the little prince. There is a flower. I, I think she has tamed me. Possibly, said the fox. One sees all sorts of things on earth. Oh, but this is not on earth, said the little prince. The fox seemed puzzled. On, on another planet? Yes. And are there any hunters on that planet? No. That's interesting. And any chickens? No. Nowhere is perfect, sighed the fox. Presently, 
the fox returned to his team. My life is very monotonous. I hunt chickens and men hunt me. All chickens are alike and all men are alike, so I get a little bored. But if you tame me, my life will be full of sunshine. I shall recognize the sound of a step different from all other steps. The other steps sent me hurrying underground. Yours will call me out of my burrow like, like the sound of music. And look yonder, do you see the cornfields? I do not eat bread. Wheat is of no use to me, so those cornfields don't remind me of anything. And I find that rather sad. But you have hair the color of gold, so it will be marvelous when you have tamed me. Wheat, which is also golden, will remind me of you and... I shall love the sound of the wind in the wheat. The fox became silent and gazed for a long time at the little prince. Oh, how I beg of you. He said, please, tame me. Willingly, the little prince replied, but I haven't got much time. I have friends to discover and many, many things to understand. One only understands the things one tames said the fox. Men. Men have no more time to understand anything. They buy. They buy ready-made things in the shops. But since there are no shops where one can buy friends, men no longer have any friends. If you want a friend, Hey, me. Hmm. What should I do? Asked the little prince. Mm -hmm. You must be very patient, said the fox. First, you will sit down at a little distance from me, just like that, in the grass. I shall watch you out of the corner of my eye and you will say nothing. Words, words are a source of misunderstandings. But every day you can sit a little closer to me. The next day the little prince returned. You should have come back at the same time, said the fox. For example, if you come at four o'clock in the afternoon, I shall start feeling happy at three. As the time passes, I shall feel happier and happier. At four o'clock, I shall become agitated and start worrying. I shall discover the price of happiness. But if you come at just any time, I shall never know when I should prepare my heart to greet you. One must observe certain rites. And what does right mean? asked the little prince. Hmm, that's also something which is all too often forgotten, 
said the fox. A ride. A ride is what makes one day different from other days. It is what makes one hour different from all other hours. For example, there is a ride among my hunters. On Thursdays, they go dancing with the village girls. So, Thursday is a marvelous day for me. I can take a walk as far as the vineyards. But if the hunters were to go dancing just any day, then every day would be just like any other day. And I would never have holiday. Mm. Thus it was that the little prince tamed the fox. And as the time came for his departure, the fox said, Oh, I shall cry. But, but it is your own fault, said the little prince. I wished you no harm. But you, you wanted me to tame you. Uh, that's right, said the fox. But you are going to cry. Yeah, that is so, said the fox. Then, and it hasn't helped you in any way, said the little prince. It has helped me, said the fox. It has helped me because of, because of the color. The color of the wheat fields. <laughs>